Well, good afternoon. Today I'm doing a little short video on the importance of saving your boxes. Look at this wonderful box here. It looks a little worse for wear around the edges, but the reality of it is it's still it's still here and it's still complete. Now, this is a box for a Colt automatic pistol, a service model ace chambered in 22 long rifle. And we're going to go ahead and open the box up and look at this wonderful piece of history we have here. The box is complete. It says here, I'm going to move this down, hopefully I'm all within frame. It says here in the top of the box, Colt Automatic Pistol, why it should be your choice. It is constant in its protection in your home, pocket, or excuse me, in your car, pocket, or home. It is equipped with safety features that absolutely prevent accidental discharge, further protecting the owner. It is always reliable. Extreme care and manufacture assures you of this. It is accurate. For target practice, small game shooting, or personal protection, and the defense of law and order, Colt accuracy will serve you best. And it continues on in Spanish. But you can see inside of this box, we have a wonderful example of a beautiful Colt Service Model Ace, chambered in 22 long rifle. And you can see boy, that barrel it looks pretty dinky after working on so many 45s. But this is slated for a nice thorough cleaning. You can see it has the adjustable sights here on the rear. This I bet is a very fun little target gun. So anyhow, there we go with that. We have the original tag from Colt explaining the adjustable sight, how to use it, the windage, screws, elevation adjustment, all that, both sides there. Tag still looks beautiful. We have shooting suggestions and this shows here a little illustration proper method of sighting, showing you how to sight your revolver. And then we have, what is it, Maurice Lalonde, Detroit Police Department, showing you the correct form here. Hopefully I have this in frame. Proper grip or hold of your revolver. And then it goes into the proper care of revolvers and automatic pistols on the back and it gives you cleaning instructions on how to take care of that so it stays nice like the one we just brought out of the box. So here we go. We're going to go ahead and explore this just a little bit further. Carefully remove that paper and what do we find? A Sears Roebuck and Company card. So Sears was selling these nice Colt service model aces way back when and this was the hardwood or excuse me, hardware department and uh, Tacoma, Washington. So there you go. And then here we have rig. Rig stops gun rust and pitting. Always rig your gun. Protects anything that rusts. We'll look, take a quick look at this brochure. We have a, what is this, a marine up here in the corner. Do you know our annual rust loss is over one billion dollars? That's a lot for back then. Let's see, tube was 25 cents, a quarter pound can was 50 cents, and a one pound can was a dollar fifty. Wow, okay. Goes through all the steps. Oh, here's, don't forget to put it on your saw, your plane, your drill. How's that for a cordless drill? <laughs> I'd hate to you bust a sweat doing that cordless drill. And it goes through all these other little items. And then one final thing in here. Set this over here. The rest of the paperwork. We have the original target. And it says in red here, it was stamped. It says shot from armrest. Colts model ace number and it's JM1415 and that's Mr. JM Molly down here in the bottom shot five rounds from 15 yards 
So there you go. It looked like it did pretty good. You got two right in here, one there. Looks like one left and one right just above the bullseye. All right, and then in the bottom here we have Colts Patent Firearms Manufacturing Company, Hartford, Connecticut, established 1835. Manufacturers of Colt revolvers, automatic pistols, automatic machine guns. So there you go. Pretty cool old box. So hold on just a second. Okay, so there you go. I hope, sorry about that interruption. I hope you've enjoyed this video. We're going to go ahead and start to put everything back in here. Put it away. And there you can see the importance of saving your boxes for the future. Who knows, your grandkids may thank you for it. Right? Okay, here's one last look. Oh, and I failed to mention, this is from 1936. Give you an idea of how old this is. And just look at that, it's in beautiful shape. The bluing on this has got to be close to 100%. A little bit here on the end, but in excellent shape nonetheless. Alright, hey, thanks for tuning in and watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. Get this in there, nice and smooth. All right. Thank you very much. Have a good day.